Hey there, good afternoon. Thanks so much for your time earlier today. I wanted to make this video for you to kind of show you some of the, just the basic building blocks of marketing for your uh, therapist slash counseling uh, business, okay? So first thing that I would do for, if I were you is number one, uh, set up your Google business profile. And if you'll follow this link, um, right here, I'll put this in there. Follow this link and do exactly what it says. That will be a great start. Now, a couple things really quickly. Um, make sure you set your category to your main business. So if it's counseling, you'll probably put counselor. Um, and then there will be subcategories that you can add that will match kind of what you do uh, but you definitely want to do that um, you're gonna want to add photos uh, it could be your you know photos of the office could be your headshot those kind of things and you'll want to if you make sure that location services are turned on on your uh, iPhone and if you take images with your iPhone they'll be tagged with the location so that'll be good because you want to take them at the office, right? And then they'll be tagged for that that actual location. Um, if you have images that you can use, you can use a service like uh, Geo. I think it's Injure. That service will let you tag. Let's look it up real quick. Yeah, this one. I think it's got some a free version. Even the paid version is not expensive, but the free version. We'll let you tag images with keywords like uh, marriage counseling or uh, ADHD counseling. What you know, your your the keywords that you want to rank for, right? You want to think through what are people uh, searching for when they're looking for my business, right? When they go into Google, what are they actually searching? And you can you can tag those photos, tag with your geo location. Once you have your Google Business Profile set up, you'll be able to get the actual geolocation, the latitude and longitude, and that will you can tag them with that, along with um, keywords like uh, counseling Arlington TX, something like that, right? So you would want to do that. You're going to want to post on Google Business profile so it'll allow you to to post uh, news events all kinds of things use that tool use it because Google really wants you to see you use it and so the more you use it the better um, it will be so let's do this no I don't like that. and this Okay, so really what you want is just to fill out the profile as much as you can. Do as much as you can. There's a section there for Q&A, and you can actually ask the questions and then answer them. And you would want to right, ask the questions that your clients ask you the most and then give the answer, right? Okay, <clears throat> um, so get that thing set up. And then the other thing I think that would make a lot of sense for you is to um, set up and run Facebook ads. And here is this link right here. We'll show you if, you could, if you can block out the time to take a couple of those courses and just follow along with the course you can um, you can do well. You can set it up for yourself and be and run some successful ads. At the very least, you could do uh, you could boost posts on your Facebook page, business page, and um, that could actually help too. So those two things I think would be um, really helpful. Now let's talk about the website really quick. So when I look at the website. Uh, where is that website? Here we go. 
So right now you have home, our services, clients. Um, telehealth and then uh, blog posts contact us so you have you have a decent a decent looking website now so what, what, if I was you to set it up for local SEO you need a page for every one of these things uh, psychiatric treatment if that's a service then you need a page for that so essentially it would be like Transcend uh, PSI, and this would be, uh, you know, PS Psychiatric Treatment, and then you're going to want to make it for your local area, right? So Arlington TX, right? And then on that page that you create, it's going to be about that service, okay? So you would want a page for that. Uh, medication management, group home services. If if you're not doing some of these things, then you wouldn't really want to create a page for that. But counseling, you definitely want that. I think counseling has one L, not two. Um, couples therapy for sure. You want pages for these, right? And then, um, so you also would want a Arlington, Texas page so for your ma sort of main keyword, right? So whatever that is, uh, counseling, Arlington, Texas, or something like that. And you would want to write that content to rank for things like uh, counseling near me or uh, psychiatric treatment near me, um, those kind of things. Um, by appointment only. So I think I like that you have the phone number here where people could actually get a hold of you. Um, this, instead of saying by appointment only, you should maybe make your call to action schedule an appointment. Um, so it's a bit of a, it's more of a call to action versus like what you're just, you're just making a statement by appointment only. Uh, like this one here, this is, this is good. They should all say that, schedule an appointment. Um, I've worked with a counselor before, and one of the things we offered was like a free 15-minute consultation. And so uh, that free 15-minute consultation would go to, it would link to actually like your Google Calendar or something like that, where you could book that, you know, people could book 15 minutes, and you could have a quick conversation with them and then uh, quickly decide if this is a fit or not and move them into some sort of paid uh paid consultation but what you want is to offer something of value to get them to actually raise their hand and say yes I, I need what you have right so a free 15 minute consultation would be good uh, if you can do that yeah if you can do that so uh, those are some quick things to do but for sure you want to um, set up your Google business profile get that set up optimize that as best you can and then uh, look into running Facebook ads. I think it would be helpful for you. Um, and then make the changes that I talked about on the website. So you want um, the service pages. Um, and I think what you can do, right, uh, example would be um, your domain slash uh, psychiatric counselor. Arlington TX, right? That would be sort of the URL of the page. And then on the page, that page would be optimized for to rank for this keyword phrase, right? That's the work. That's what you want to do. And then ultimately on your Google business profile, uh, you want to get, get reviews. Because that's one of the inputs to Google's algorithm is, you know, if you've got reviews, then um, it's going to be a good, a good thing for you. The other thing, too, just like you're on ZocDoc, um, look for citations on uh, directories. So you're on ZocDoc, that's great. You're, paid, you're doing like a paid thing with them, but you're listed on there. 
One of the main things that you want to make sure is that your name, address, and phone number are consistent with what you put on Google Business Profile. Okay, so whatever your address is that you have now on the website, so let's look at that real quick. Uh, here, 607 East Abrams, Suite 14. Like that's exactly what you would want to put into Google Business Profile. Uh, and then also when you go to get um, citations on other directories, you would want that exact thing, okay? So what they don't want, what Google doesn't want is inconsistency in, uh, same with the phone number. So name, address, phone number should be the exact same. Uh, this one here. And there we go. Okay. The other thing I would do if I was you is, um, let's see, put it here, is go ahead and get um, Google, what's it called? Workspace. So that you can get pro email. You want to have your name at um, transcendpsi.com. Um, that just looks more professional. It's just going to add more credibility to your business. Um, you know that you want to do that. So in you go into your Gmail account, into your Google account, and turn on Google Work Workspace Business. I think the very lowest package you can buy is like six dollars a month, um, but it is absolutely worth it. So uh, get that turned on. Yeah, again, it's six bucks a month, I think. Um, but if you follow this little plan here over the next few weeks, uh, you're going to be in a much better place than you are right now. So set up your Google Business Profile by going to the link there. Set up, uh, fill it out to as much as you can. Set up and run Facebook ads by using uh, the, the free training that Facebook offers. Uh, make some, Add some pages to your website that are specifically for the services that you do along with the city that you're in, right? Uh, add pro email go get some directories some citations on directories there's several ways to do this one way is to um, go to somebody like Yext um, Yext can do that for you or this that's a service that we can do for you as well we can go out and get um, I'll just put it right here. Hire Mitch to do citations um, on major directories and niche directories. Now, that service right there is probably going to cost you, if I do it, like my team goes out and does it, we actually go out and claim those citations for you. Um, probably three hundred dollars okay to set up your Google business profile if you want us to do it okay we charge six hundred dollars and that we will do everything we can for you we'll even come help take some of the photos at your office and get those optimized okay um, uh, we could do this stuff for you on the website we'll actually write the content and post the content to those pages uh, we can do six pages uh, for uh, $1,000 okay um, I think the email should be pretty straightforward for you to set up but if you need us to set it up we could set it up uh, I would charge um, 135 for that so there there's some options there you can do these things if you want if you want to fast forward it and get us to do it we can do it for you uh, but this is kind of the playbook that you should run and get yourself set up and and go okay so thanks a bunch let me know if we can help we'll talk soon bye bye